Hello, my name is Jocelyn from Cheeky DIY Home, and I love all things interior design and home decor. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning back, welcome back. So, if you haven't caught on, I love DIY and all that stuff, but I also love an affordable DIY, but I also do question whether it's actually going to look good, if I'm really able to, if I'm going to be able to replicate that same look as I see it in photos, does it look as good in person? So once a month I review a DIY or a hack, you're more than welcome to offer suggestions. Right now, today I will be reviewing faux shiplap in forms of Sharpie shiplap and washi tape shiplap. Now you may have heard of Sharpie shiplap and this is basically just literally applying a Sharpie pen to make it look like shiplap. Now washi tape is basically when you're applying tape I have a bundle of six here, and basically you're literally just applying tape to your wall to give the same looks very similar to Sharpie shiplap. Two different concepts of how you're applying this, and they're very, very, very affordable compared to regular shiplap. Now, I try this out on two different walls. My wall with the mirror is the one that got the washi tape, and that probably cost me like we'll say 50 cents in washi tape whereas it would have cost me like 70 bucks in regular uh, shiplap now the price isn't too extreme for the shiplap of 70 bucks but this is obviously significantly cheaper which is why people do consider this route same goes with the sharpie I did this on a wall with the window and it would have probably cost me like a hundred and ten for regular shiplap and this cost me we'll say like a dollar or two so huge price differences on that which is why people consider these ideas and they do look so amazing in photo form whereas I'm gonna show you how they look kind of in person and then you can decide if this is right for you Now let's spill the tea. So I'm going to first start out with the washi tape since this is probably new to you guys. The washi tape, I, like I said, literally just gets applied on. I first just created a guide using my level and a pencil and then I just started applying my tape. Now there are two major things that you need to know about this. You absolutely need to make sure your hands are nice and dry and that you just wash them before. You want to make sure you have no dirt or grime on this because as you're applying the tape on it, um, your fingers will be touching the sticky side and if they're dirty, it won't stick as well to the wall and then you'll likely see it falling. The other thing is, I first had tried this out before in like a month and a half ago and I tried it out to accent one of my walls where I had just painted the door black and I like semi reviewed this but I didn't like I just kinda winged it in a way and I ended up getting a text message from my husband asking me this so that was a major fail and if you don't do your research accordingly or if you don't do this right this will 100% happen to you what I missed in this step was applying rubbing alcohol and this is so so enormous because I kind of like missed an area when I did it to my mirror wall and I noticed that it started to peel just like that. So my washi tape has been up for two weeks, no issues whatsoever. Make sure you rub your wall with rubbing alcohol like pretty I don't know, a lot, basically. So do that, and you should be go good to go with this. Something you should know about this, though, I'm not sure if I can show it to you, but you can see here that it has a shine, and when you have your wall all done, you'll notice that as you move throughout the room, and if your light is on, you'll see a reflection of light. If your light is off, you won't really see the reflection of light, obviously, but that's just something to consider if you do this. Now, I remember at first, I was semi-upset because it wasn't faux shiplap. But then again, I also remembered how my wall looked before. And it looked enormously better. So, although it's not real shiplap, I saved a ton of money. My wall looks a lot more better. And this is removable. It's renter friendly. So that's just another pro to this. Negative would be mainly the shininess to this. So really depending on your surface area, that's something to consider as well because 
obviously with the bigger surface area you'll be able to see the shine as you move throughout the room throughout the whole wall that you do this on. Now the next thing I'll be talking about is Sharpie shiplap. And this is kind of the same concept of how you apply. Basically you just create your guide with the you know with the straight edge, a level and a pencil and start going along with your guide doing this. Now some a major big flaw that I saw with this is that it can be very tedious if you mess up one small little like pivot of your finger and you're kind of screwed in that aspect. So that's like a pretty big negative on that. One small screw up and you kind of have to adjust for it. So first start off doing a really thin line and then if you have to do to a screw up, go a little thicker. But try obviously to have a straight hand, not to move too much. So I think that's just like a pretty big flaw with this. With the washi tape, if you messed up in some way, shape, or form, you could literally just lift up the tape and adjust accordingly to your guide. Whereas this, one small move of your straight edge and you can mess up. That's just a pretty big negative with this. This isn't as removable as I would hoped it would be. So I actually wanted to test out how hard this would be later to remove and it's pretty hard. <laughs> I tried to wipe this down as much as possible with the magic eraser and then after nine minutes I gave up and I started to apply my kills primer which is my absolute favorite and I trust so much and it required five coats out of me to apply this. Now imagine this on your wall, whatever size your wall is, imagine applying this five times so that you can get these lines to disappear. I don't know about you but that's a lot of time. You decide if this is worth your time later in the long run, but if you like the look of this, just be aware of the work you may have to do after to cover it up if you end up changing your mind on this later. So those are my major points with that. One more last thing I actually did want to bring up is this does paint on literally just like a marker. So if this tip starts drying, it will literally start showing on your wall so you have to keep applying and as you're applying you could slightly mess up and go a little higher or a little lower causing you to forcefully make your line thicker or go to your magic eraser and try to accommodate for that. In the end I ended up having to go with thicker lines than I had wanted and that's just kind of the whole ball game of using the sharpie pen concept. So. That's basically all I have to say. If you decide to go with either or, basically, just know that with washi tape, you will have that um, shine to it. And make sure you apply it really well. Make sure you apply the rubber knock car really well. If you somehow, if it starts to peel, I have seen people do glue gun on the edges. You shouldn't have to do that as long as you apply enough rubbing alcohol. If you don't want to do that step, I personally don't want to do that step, you can avoid the glue gun by just making sure you apply rubbing alcohol really well. Now with Sharpie, it goes on like marker and a screw up can kind of really screw you up in the long run. That's really the biggest thing. I found Sharpie to take much more longer as well. So if you found this helpful, if you now kind of made up your mind on this, comment below. If you know a friend or anyone that would benefit from this, please share, like, and yeah. Catch you next month for the next review. Bye, guys.